Hi, I'm Brian Millett with Game On Training. Now thanks to Game On Training in Dublin, you can train at a first-rate facility. With over 16,000 square feet of training space, Game On features the right equipment and a knowledgeable staff giving serious athletes and recreational players everything they need to take their game to the next level. Game On offers individual and team packages. Monthly memberships are available and one-on-one -on -one lessons for ages 7 and up. Game On members have access to train 24-7, so don't miss out. Call or come by for the latest information and schedules, and remember... Game On also offers CrossFit DGA with owner Eric Bland. Get the best workout you've ever had with Eric and his staff. Join Game On's training today for excellent core strength and conditioning. And get your game on. You know, it is a wonderful day here in Dublin, Georgia, and we're here at the Arts and Crafts Festival here. We've got Betty Jean of Betty Jean's Farm. How are you? I am doing just <laughs> great. Now, tell us about your business, Betty Jean, and tell us about some of the wonderful things that you have out here. Sure. Uh, we are, uh, we make homemade jam from the farm to the pot to the table. Everything is uh, freshly made. Each batch is made individually. Really? We make strawberries, Georgia certified strawberry mm -hmm. berries we use. We use organically grown blueberries, muscadines the same. Yes. We make muscadine soaps. Oh. Here's an example. That's the one with the mint. How cool and is this? And this is the oatmeal. Now, how oatmeal. long have you been in business? We were established as an LLC October 18, 2013. Oh, wow. Yes. Fantastic. And where are you based out of? We are based out of Davisboro, Georgia. Davisboro, Georgia. Now, yes. have you always been someone that, like, for one, apparently making jam? Have you always done that? How, how long have you been doing that? Uh, I'm just a natural cook. <laughs> and, uh, no, I'm a very creative individual. I uh, also do designs and things of that nature, do gift baskets and things like that. So you are a jack of all trades, Betty. No, I'm not a jack of all <laughs> trades. I'm just very talented. Very talented. <laughs> yes. And everything looks so beautiful and how you, you have it displayed Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. It's really beautiful. And it's a nice day, so you should It just... is wonderful <laughs> out here. I was so surprised. Oh, my gosh. So this is a no pectin. Yeah, type. no pectin is in that particular batch. All right, and so for people that have different food allergies and stuff, you've got use organic. Yes, and we also have sugar-free and no sugar added jams. What kind for of us fun diabetics. is that? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? <laughs> that's but fun. That's, but that's wonderful that you have a, such a wide range of products, and you have it displayed so beautifully. Thank you very much. We're here at the face painting booth, and these guys are true artists. Hey, darling. Hello. Tell me who you are, and how did you become a face painter? Well, my name is Melissa, and my wonderful friend Stephanie here actually got me into face painting. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. She's super talented. <laughs> now, you have all different types of things you could do for the face, mm -hmm. right? Are you finished with me already? Well, with a stencil. Yeah, I'm gonna do you're going to do some extra. I'm going to do some extra. Give me a little, little, little extra jazz, I a will. pizzazz, you know? And look how cute you're doing her. And so, um, how long have you been doing face painting? Like, are you an artist by trade? Um, I was an artist in high school. Get and out. I became a mom. And, You're a mommy. Um, and then uh, Stephanie was like, let's try some face painting. And uh, it just kind of worked out. Well, that is awesome. And so you were an artist. Did you go to art school? No, I took all the college art classes in high school. Yeah. What did you go to high school? In Noonan, Georgia. So are you all based out of Noonan? No. Um, actually, Stephanie's based out of McDonough, and I live in Columbia now. Okay, so, so. Columbia, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and McDonough, Georgia. How cool is that? Now, this is a wonderful festival, so you should have a lot of people coming in. Oh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. So they're going to know this is a shamrock, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> James, you see that? <laughs> I'm looking more festive already. It's going to match my scarf, right? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> she gave me a little, little extra in there. 
Now you come here. Tell me about yourself. Tell us about you. Okay. I'm Stephanie uh, Williams, and we're with a very very affair. I, just, I know she said that already. No, she no, I didn't. Oh, know we're a very very affair. <laughs> Your voice actually changed when you said that. We're a very very affair. I love it. We do all kinds of parties. We do princess parties and fairy parties. And my banner's hit me in the head. Sorry. You are having too much fun. You know that. We have so You're much like a fun. Kid. You're like we're. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not wearing wings. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, so um, normally we do have on like wings and we make it sparkle and everything. And how long have you been in this line of work? We've been here about a year now, actually. Are you loving this? I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. And one thing about kids is when you're able to do artistry on their faces, do you ever have to like create something like so bizarre to even yourself? You're like, are you serious yes. right now, kid? <laughs> yes. I think like the weirdest thing we've gotten so far though is like a half tiger, half skull. And he was all right. afterwards. And, and you did you not say, um, dude, this is going to be weird? No, he was my nephew. <laughs> <laughs> nephew, this is going to be super weird, but come to auntie. Yeah, he turned out so cute. So cute. All right. Well, we're certainly glad to have you all here. Are you finished with me? Let me look at it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Glitter. Love, love. You know I love the glitter and the bling. Yeah, You see that, James? <laughs> uh, I'll get my hand up. <laughs> I know. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, with Rachel Gerard of Blush Boutique, a.k.a. Hugh Kite's baby girl. How are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> you know, your dad had already told me about your boutique when I moved here to Georgia, and he's like, uh, you gotta go by and see my daughter. Yeah, and I'm like, what? Yeah, he's good at promoting for he me. He is hilarious <laughs> at promoting you. Not very professional with it, <laughs> but he's awesome. I love him. So tell us about your boutique and, and about some of the things that you have to offer. Well, um, going on two years being open, so yeah. it's exciting. Um, I sell women's apparel, accessories, lots of pretty jewelry. Oh my much. Everything, shoes, purses. You're a girl after my own heart. Yes. You are. I'm looking at some of this. Tell us about this. Well, these are handmade by a company called Just Charmed. Most of my jewelry actually comes from Beth Hooks. She mm -hmm. used to own the Bee Basket here in Dublin. Okay. Um, Catherine Avery also makes, she's local, makes a lot of my pieces also. So all of our jewelry is handmade. Very beautiful. And so what type of shoes and things do you have? Oh, everything. You know, when I was talking to your dad one day, he's like, you go by and see my daughter. She's got just what you need. She'll yeah. hook you up. <laughs> and if I don't have it, I'll find it for You'll you. find so, it. Yes. Now, have you always been into fashion and design? and that kind of just loving, you know, the beauty of clothing yeah, and jewelry. I love working with people too, so it really helps me to, I like helping people. Now, did you go to school for this type work? <laughs> Actually, no. What did you <laughs> I changed my major so many different times. Finally, I'm like, you know what, I'm sick of this. I'm just going to do what I want to do. What, and just what did take you start out with? Oh, my goodness. What? My mom's right over there, so I'm hey, like, what, what did I even start with? Um, Plant life. I went cosmetology to yeah. teaching. I was going to try to do that. Then I was going to try to go into nursing, and I'm like, yeah, I don't like any Let of it. Let me just say, beauty yeah, school. <laughs> so now you're in your niche. You're yes. doing your thing. You're in your element. Wow, they, she's got some really beautiful things here, girls. Very creative. If you like different, you can get it from here. Thank you. All right, thank you. This is Rachel. <laughs> All right, good people. We're here with Brandy Shea of Cake Memories. Hi, Brandy. Hi. Girlfriend, you are doing it up, aren't you? Tell us about your business and tell us about some of the things that you have here on display. All right, well, um, once again, Cake Memories is all about from scratch. We do everything um, homemade, nothing out the box, nothing out the container or can. And today we've got your signature pound cake bites. That's my recipe. That's oh, my what I, goodness. Yeah, that's what I make for all my birthday cakes, all my wedding cakes. We've got your shamrock sugar cookies, your chocolate dip pretzel sticks. Oh, my um, gosh. we got peanut butter cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, Brandy. Key, key lime pound cake. Key lime pound cake. Yep, delicious, delicious. Brandy, so they know you from it. the fondant that you made with us here on TV 35, but they didn't know how much <laughs> stuff that you have. And who do you have back here working with you? This is Jazz. She's one of my, she's one of my right hand women. Hey, she's Jazz. How are you? <laughs> And now, Brandy, now you, when you talk about homemade people, you have to understand that when she's talking about from scratch, this is her with her hands mixing, <laughs> kneading, and all that all, kind of all stuff. All of it. All, all of, of that. The by, icing, everything. By scratch. Everything is scratch. Now, what do you have here that you're going to let me and James take with us? Baby, you get to pick whatever you want. Oh, whatever <laughs> you want. Whatever you want. 
want? You want some? We got some cheese straws. You want cheese straws? You want a cupcake? You want some pretzels? Some cookies? You gonna have to put it on the side for me. I'm making a whole back, goody tray. Cause you know I can't be eating that stuff right now. <laughs> I want a goody tray to go. A goody tray to go. Well, Brandy, we'll how can people reach you if they want to have something done? Birthday cakes, mm -hmm. wedding cakes, birthday cakes, wedding cakes. Yeah. Um, there's some of my information. I don't know if you can see that right there. Call but, it out um, to them. Just yeah. say it out. Four seven eight two seven nine three three zero zero. That's my number. I'm also on Facebook mm -hmm. at uh, www.facebook.com forward slash cake memory. Yep. And um, pretty much if you type in cake memories, I'm going to pop up there. So, but I'm right here in Lawrence County, right here local in Dublin. So. Local baby. I'm on 441 South across from Farmers Furniture Warehouse. Very good. This is Brandy Shea, Cake Memories, and she's doing it from scratch. That's right. Thank you, it's my good friend. To see you. All right, we've got Deborah Cavanaugh here with B and D Designs. All right, Deborah, we see some beautiful stuff. Thank so you. you tell us about your business and some of the things that you've got on display here. Okay. All right. Well, um, we have the So God Made a Farmer necklace, which has been very popular this year. That mm -hmm. um, we also have a lot of children's jewelry, mm -hmm. and um, that's been very popular. Uh, we also have the long necklaces with the little uh, chains on it. So, how um, sweet is that? Now yes. tell us where are you based out of and how long have you been B&D Design? Okay. I'm based out of Danville. Um, I work out of my home. Mm -hmm. I do have a um, booth at the Exchange right here downtown. Yes. And um, I've been doing jewelry uh, 10 years. 10 years. Now do you make jewelry? I make all this. You make, look at these hands, lady. Let me see. These hands are what made this jewelry. How impressive is that? Now, did you have to go to school to learn how to be a jeweler in no. this capacity? How did you learn? Were you just sitting around one day playing with a bead set? Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, you know, really? a lot of, a lot of uh, trial and error. Isn't yes. that interesting? Actually, what made, got me started was my granddaughter. Really? I had bought a baby bracelet, and then I started making the baby jewelry. So thanks to your granddaughter, mm -hmm. here you are yes. doing your thing. Everything is so lovely. Got to make sure you guys see this, how pretty it is. All right. And how can people reach you? Um, well, they can reach me on Facebook, mm -hmm. and d, &D Designs. Um, I have an Etsy shop. And I do have, like I said, a booth at the exchange. All so. right. Well, thank you so much. This is Miss Cavanaugh of B and D Designs. Right, thank, thank you, you thank so you. much. All right. We've got George Batten here with Chili Today Hot Tamale. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we like it. <laughs> All right, George. Tell us about your business and tell us about what you've got here. It looks like you've got some samples too. Yes, we do. We're a little mom and pop operation from Madison, Georgia. Mm -hmm. My wife and I went into the business of making these various pepper sauces. We only have four recipes for sauces and we have one mustard, but we like them very much. That uh, one looks like it's super hot. That one is great. That <laughs> one is an old family recipe that right. uh, my mother and both of my grandmothers had on the table, but we tweaked it a little bit. Did you? It's a, it's a, a finest blend of uh, kerosene and turpentine. <laughs> Vinegar. It's a distilled right, vinegar. Right. We soak it in cayenne pepper. We add mm -hmm. onion juice and a little garlic and salt. Right. And it's great on greens. It's also great on fried fish. Well, you know you're in the right place. Oh, absolutely. You're in Dublin, Georgia, honey. <laughs> absolutely. Now tell us about what, what do you have here displayed for us to test? Okay, well, we have all four sauces and the mustard here. Right. And uh, we I'm are not using... good with hot stuff, George. Oh, well. Don't make, is it going to make me cry? No, I don't <laughs> think so. That is a... Um, I'm going to try it right now. That's the mustard that we named after my wife, Scorching Hot Mama Jalapeno Mustard. And it's just a mm. nice yellow prepared mustard mm -hmm. with a little jalapeno mash blended in. I taste it. Good? I told you I'm not good with hot stuff, ma'am. No, 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 this is fine. <laughs> okay, would you oh, like to try good. one of the pepper sauces? No way. Let me tr try George, the mildest. George, if my eyes tend to water on this, okay, the mildest. The mildest is called... Ow. George's Gourmet. George's Gourmet. And you can imagine who that's named after, because this is my favorite sauce. Here you go. Grab the chip. Okay, grab the chip. Okay. And I'm going to put just a little bit of it on the chip. It's mostly cayenne just pepper. Just a drop. Okay. Like a drop. I'm not playing with you, George. Okay. It's good. It's mild. It'll be good. All right. Now, this is like a cross between a steak sauce and a barbecue sauce. Think about that with beef. Doesn't that taste good? I'm savoring it. Isn't that nice? It's got that a little, little pepper after not, bite, but not hot at all. Not at all. That's very good. I'm telling you, we got old. We can't tolerate heat very much anymore. <laughs> so, because, George, that's hilarious. <laughs> all right, so how can that's people reach you? Oh, we are on the net, chilitodayhottamale.net. 
and uh, that's probably the best way. The thing is, we go to festivals and fairs. And this is our second year in Dublin. Of course, it's only the third year that the company's been in existence. Oh, that's so. fantastic. How's it been? How was last year? Last year was fantastic. Wait. Last year, we set a record, you know, personal company record. Right. Uh, it bested our very best festival at the time. This and is the place. This is the place. The Dublin St. Patrick's Festival. people here who like flavorful hot sauce. They do. They do. Yeah. All right, Just well, thank George's you so much. Gourmet. George's Gourmet, everyone. Thank you, George. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. All right, we've got Chris Baggett here with the Carl Vinson Medical Center. Proud female veteran. Hi, yeah. Chris. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. All right, Chris, tell us about your program and tell, and tell us about some of the goodies that you've got here okay. to give them information. <laughs> Um, I come out here for the Carl Vinson VA Medical Center um, to just put some dates out to the community because we are we are we are proud to be in Dublin, Georgia, mm -hmm. and I know Dublin's proud to have the VA here. Absolutely. Um, we have um, homeless veterans program that we're trying to get donations for. Mm -hmm. So um, and we're just trying to get a lot of stuff for them. Also, we have other dates where we have the car show and bike rally at the VA. Remember these dates. Tell them the dates. Yes. May the twentieth is our walk and roll, and that's to support. Um, our homeless veterans and also to pr promote health, Absolutely. healthy living. And then we have the car show and bike rally on April the 11th. So that'll be that's at the VA. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a good time so you can bring the family out. Well, we're glad you're such an advocate for the VA and for homeless, um, the homeless veterans because it's a great program. And most people don't realize just how significant this program is and how needed it is. It is, it is. We can always take, um, you know, our, our VA, our volunteer services mm -hmm. can take the donations and take things that's needed and get yep. them to our homeless veterans. Very good. Thank you, Chris. Thank now, you. this is a stress reliever. It is. I'm working with James, so I probably need like two or three of these. You can take them for <laughs> free. <laughs> this is Chris Baggett, everyone, with the VA. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. All right, we have an uh, amazing veteran here, John, our guest. How are you, sir? All right. <laughs> Thank you for your service, by the way. I'm glad to do it. <laughs> 20 years, 20 years. Yeah. Now, tell us about your business here. Well, I helped a friend of mine at one time when he was sick. He's a knife maker. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, I helped him a little bit, and uh, he uh, got well and everything, and did a bad thing. He got married. <laughs> <laughs> so he did a bad thing. He and, got married, and then he moved <laughs> off the new up to North Carolina. Right, so right. I didn't have anything to do. I done retired. I didn't have anything to do. So he told me, he says, "You you learned enough to make knives. Go mm -hmm. ahead." So I got me a few things and started. And, I've been doing it ever since, and How, I really love it. <laughs> you really love it. How long's that been? Oh, 11 years. 11 years. Now, what type of knives do you have here? Because we see the different blades and the different handles that you have. Yeah. Well, we have hunting knives. Basically, is a, uh, our major mm -hmm. uh, thing mm -hmm. we make. But then we also have a little kitchen stuff. Uh, oh, wow. Or uh, some big, big heavy blades, and just a whatever you feel like doing get a piece of metal and make it. Right. Well, let me ask you a question. So, like, if someone went fishing and they need to clean the fish, what type of knife do you need for... I've never cleaned a fish before. Well, you can use most any of these, uh, but I would think that a, a fillet knife would work pretty good. Mm -hmm. You're pretty handy with a knife? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's... That's a uh, first thing I got after I was born was a few clothes, very few, mm -hmm. and a knife. I carried a little pocket knife even Wait when I was How old two or three years old. <laughs> what in the world? You were carrying a pocket knife at two or three years old. You know, right now that's considered dangerous. Yeah. Well, we carried them to school and nobody <laughs> said anything. Yeah, when I got you old carried enough, a pocket school, knife as a kid yeah. to school. Yeah. Well, first grade through 12. <laughs> Well, all of us did. All the, wow. All the boys And it's did. amazing how the time has changed. Mm -hmm. And so you've had a knife. You've always felt comfortable around knives. So you're in the perfect business after your retirement. Yeah. All right. But I have to let you guys know, if you've got a first grader, don't let them meet this guy. To keep, <laughs> keep your first graders at home. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. Finish your cinnamon roll now. Okay. <laughs>
All right, we've got Jack Ryan here from Athens, Georgia. Beautiful downtown Athens. Beautiful Athens. Now tell us now, we see some, look like some handmade carvings here. Well, they're all handmade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tell us some. These are the hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all of these woods come from collectibles of uh, dead wood. There's no live wood here, so there's mm -hmm. all things you look and search out. And, uh, no women or children were injured in the making of them. <laughs> That's good. That's or good. animals. Good, good to know. <laughs> uh, and uh, well, I find that uh, every piece of wood is its own story, just like every person. Every one of them has a story to tell. And mm -hmm. uh, whatever they used to be, this is what they are now. It's a whole new life. Right. And uh, they go from kind of trash to treasure in my eyes, you know. Yeah. Uh, they either go in the fireplace or on a pedestal. <laughs> really beautiful. Now, have you always done, how long have you been doing woodwork? We're going to have you come up here. I started this, so uh, give or take a year ago. I'm a, uh, I'm a retired contractor, I guess. I don't do much building anymore, so it's right. all handcraft stuff and I like to keep my hands busy, you know? Mm -hmm, absolutely. I, and now tell us about, now, what is the name of your business and how can someone reach you outside of this great Arts and Crafts Festival? Uh, well, I'm having a website developed, but the name is Jack Ryan, and right. it's, uh, I don't have a shop or anything. It's just I come to these shows, but I actually will get a website at some point in the future, right. I guess. But this is beautiful work, if you guys can see that. You know, I remember I was taught about, like, how you can tell the age of a tree by reading like that. I don't know how to read it. Well, if, you, <laughs> if, if, you, if your eyes are good enough to count all those rings, that'll, that'll tell you. <laughs> so you count the ring. Well, this is beautiful work that you've that you've done that you've created. So we want to um, congratulate you on that. Look at that. That feels nice. And do you varnish that? What do you put that on a stain? Well, actually, this one's natural, but this one has some stain on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of sanding and finishing to make it smooth, but. The wood does most of it, you know. If, if, if it's in the wood, it's going to show. And I bet this is very therapeutic for you as well. Yeah, it gives a guy an excuse to go down in the shop and, <laughs> as they say, you know, go in his quiet place and don't have to answer any questions. No questions. phone doesn't ring. Give me a piece of wood, my machine, and let me be. Yes. All right, well, thank you so much, Jack Ryan. Thank you. And you have Athens, yourself a Georgia. great day. Thank you, you as and well. And you certainly look make a great representative for this operation today. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we've got Ronald and Janice Daniel of, of Ronald Daniel Backyard Shed. How are you two doing? We're doing great. Now listen, we know that he's so full of words and conversation right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to let you guys tell us about your business and tell us about some of the things you have here that are on display at the festival. Okay. Do you want to be the talker? I will. <laughs> But his name's on it. You so oh yeah, so he, do, he does it all. I, I'm just I'm just the supporter. Okay, she's the salesman. Oh, he speaks. There he goes. Um, all right, tell us about your business. Okay, well Ronald makes most of the homemade stuff. He makes the pound cakes and he does uh, barbecue sauce and we have cookies and um, we um, most of our stuff is local. We have mm -hmm. local honey that's here from Lawrence County. He makes the barbecue sauce and it's very good. And uh, he makes homemade bread. Oh my god! The gosh. two kind of breads are it's the cinnamon raisin bread and the, just the plain uh, white bread. Fantastic! Now, do you make anything? Well, the only thing that he asked me to make was fudge, and I do make fudge. I did make the fudge, and this is the first time we've had the fudge. Oh, how cool so, is that? That's so cool. hopefully it'll do well. Very good. We hope so. All right, now we're going to speak to you now. How long have you been baking and making things like this? Mm, probably about 10 years. 10 years. Now, you've got so many wonderful things on display. And, and how can someone reach you? Where are you all based out of? Um, we live up the Old Toonspar Road. Oh. And they can just contact him by phone at 478-689-6078. Um, Very good. Now, have 6087. Excuse me. You can't get good help right I, here. I can. know it. <laughs> That's why he shouldn't put me up here. <laughs> Now, pound cake, what do you have for me to, like, as a sample now? We come up here, we need a sample of something. They're doing an interview. <laughs> Rhonda, hand me that sample. This pound is cake. where we get all the goodies right here. Pound cakes. Oh, my gosh. You know how I love pound cake. We got one of them right That's here. True. I like the crust, too. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. That is good. 
I'm going to be a butterball by the time I leave this festival. All right. <laughs> Thank you all so much. You will. Thank you. We're here with two beautiful people. They're northerners by trade. Yeah. We've got, what's your name? Marty. Marty. And Steve. And Steve. Go Patriots. Go Pats. All right, guys, tell us about yourselves and, and what brought you down here. We'll start with you. We came with uh, four other people. There's six of us, uh, one couple from Virginia, mm -hmm. one couple from South Carolina, and we're from Florida. And uh, so we all gathered and met at this nice occasion. We're <laughs> staying at a beautiful bed and breakfast up the street. Yes. And, uh, here to see the parade and Fantastic. play a little golf maybe this afternoon. All right, and it's perfect weather for us. Isn't it? Huh? Gorgeous. Now, Gorgeous. look at you, you're so festive. Oh, we All the well, way down to your shoes. Absolutely, you gotta go with the program. <laughs> oh, yeah, shamrocks. Even the shamrocks. Oh, and, and how about that? Love, love. <laughs> And so how was it for you coming down here? Of course, you know, we know you're originally from the north, moved down to Florida. Yeah. But just how do you feel about this, this the south here? Oh, and everyone is so friendly yeah. and so nice. We're just having a great time. It's just fun to walk around. Everyone wants to chat. and I know. It's it's a wonderful place. I think the, they must take pleasant pills down I think here. so. We take, we take three a day. Oh, do you? That's yeah, with each is. meal. There's a well, lot of people who could, could catch on them. from this. <laughs> But you know, I knew you were from up north. Of course, when I saw your hat, but when I spoke with you, and I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah. these are foreigners. That's right. <laughs> but no, we're so glad to have you guys here. Glad that you're enjoying, enjoying yourselves. I mean, you're in for a treat with this parade. You know oh, that. Oh, I bet it's going to be great. I All bet. Right. Well, Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And uh, come back and visit us in New England in the summer. Yeah, I've yeah. been there in the winter, and it was horrific. Sucks. I thought I was going <laughs> to die. <laughs> I think I stayed inside. No, when my mother-in-law came into town during the summer here, she was like, oh, my God, it's wicked hot out here. Oh, yeah, wicked. Couldn't have. Wicked you pisser. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning new terms, y'all. Yeah. We, we have to get down, though, how to say, you're all better than we yeah, have. Yeah, you've got to practice it. we like, got to practice. How y'all yeah. doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Yeah, you got it. About 10 people have said that to me already. They have? And they mean that. They do. Y'all, both of you. How you guys. Now, that's another one. <laughs> I know. We learn it. We just have to adapt to the culture. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Enjoy yourself. You two are lovely. You too. We've got a young entrepreneur here, Keelan Clemens. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Now, you've got your own business going right here. Yes, well. This is beyond the lemonade stand. You know that, right? <laughs> yes, well. All right. Tell us about you and tell us about your business. How old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen, and you're already a businessman. <laughs> yes, well. Where do you go to school? Telfair. Telfair County. Yes, well. I remember playing you in basketball. I won't <laughs> hold that against you. <laughs> tell us about your business. Well, Keenan. we have candy popcorn, all type of flavors here, and all type of boxes here. Now, do you make this yourself? No, man. We order it. You order and this is your business. So yes, who came up with the business plan? Actually, my mother came up your with it. Your mama did? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so if you had a name for this business, what's the name of your business? DNK. DNK. Popcorn. Popcorn. Very good. Now, so what different flavors do you have here? I have cherry, blueberry, um, bubble gum. So all anything types. normal, you go beyond that. Yes, ma'am. And so what made you decide to want to do popcorn and things like this? Because they used to have the old popcorn back in the day. Regular, so we had like to we used to like, you know, butter, yes, light, well. salt, <laughs> light salt popcorn, boring, right? Yes, well. So you just felt, okay, I'm going to punch it up a notch and make it out of, like, bubblegum flavor. Yes, well. You know you're wearing braces. <laughs> you can't even eat popcorn. Not at all. <laughs> you can't even test your product. I'm telling you. That's what I got. So my who's the taste before. tester? My little brother. Come here, little man. We're gonna have him come around. This is your little brother right here. Yes, well. Come here, son. Tell us what your name is. Look in that camera. Corey. What's your name? Corey. And you're the you test the popcorn. What's your favorite? A uh, red. The red one. What flavor is that? Cherry. Cherry. Okay, very good. So you've got the taste tester, all right, and you've got all your different popcorns. This is beyond the boring. So how can someone, if they want to order popcorn for you, what do they do? You have to ask my mother about Ask that, your man. mama. <laughs> you got to ask your mama. So, you know, uh, being a 13-year-old business owner, it does require a team, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, mama. Can you get mommy in here? Yeah, Mom, hi. What's your name? Delandra Clement. All right, Delandra. So if someone wanted to get some popcorn, some DNK popcorn, what do they need to do? Right now, you can go to Delandra Clements at Facebook.com, mm -hmm. and we're making up a DNK popcorn. Yeah. And you can just let us know what kind you need, how much you need. We do 
we do parties, weddings, and also he does um, get parties, and, yeah, parties, weddings, whatever yeah. you need. So people out there, if you're tired of the boring popcorn that's like just buttered, or like me, I pop mine on the stove in a, pet, <laughs> in a pot, I do, and I don't even put butter or nothing on. I have my own seasoning that I order. But you know, if you want some delicious popcorn in a variety of flavors, DNK Popcorn is the place to go. Thank you guys. You're Thank welcome. You. All right. All right, we're here with C&G Concessions. We'll let them introduce themselves to you and tell us about this delicious food. Who is the C in this party? Me, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis. All right, Curtis. And you're the G? Yes, Glenda. Glenda, Curtis and Glenda. All right, now tell us about your business here. Oh, um, it's a um, concession stand um, at a festival, C&G Concession. Mm -hmm. um, the food that we sell, we sell... Um, Chicken tender, wings, fries, uh, polo sausages. Um, what else we sell? Fish. Fish. Uh, loaded fries. Loaded fries. Normally funnel cakes, but not today. Oh my God! <laughs> no funnel cakes at the arts. <laughs> this thing is over. Like that. <laughs> For us. Over. Over. Now, how long have you all been in business, and how long have you been cooking? We've been in business over 10 years mm -hmm. now, but cooking ever since I was a little girl. A little girl. What about you, Curtis? The same thing. Same. So you be in the kitchen, you just learn? Learn how to cook, yeah. And you just, now you put your own little thing to it? Yeah. And what you got here, you know what? Lord, I'm going to be a little stuffed piglet by the time, <laughs> by the time. You didn't put any seasoning on that? Just a little bit. A little seasoned mm -hmm. uh, fries. That's perfect. Yeah. I don't like a whole lot. And so you usually go, to, now you were here last year. How was last year? Last year was great. You know, this is an amazing festival. And where are you all based out of? Austell, uh, Georgia. Austell, Georgia. Yes. All right. So now coming down here to Dublin, Georgia for this festival, this is huge. Yes, it is. And, you know, um, you know, we talk about we've been a lot of vendors who've been, you know, coming from different parts and, mm -hmm. and of course, from long distances to be a part of this festival. Mm -hmm. And so we're here to have a good time, and they're going to have some good food here at C&G Concessions. That's right. I'm going to take those fries with me. That's fine. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank All you. Right. <laughs>